Hello guys, welcome back to our series on web development and in this video I'll be teaching about HTML headings and paragraphs. Don't forget that this class is brought to you by Bodo Grassroots Foundation and I remain your instructor of that today. And in our last video, we covered a few concepts on HTML attributes. We looked at how to use them in an HTML headmate, and we also looked at a few examples such as the alt attributes, the source attributes, the the href attributes, and so many more. And I encourage you to check the internet for more HTML attributes we have. If you have if you haven't done that, I'm I'm actually playing again. Just do that because we have a whole lot of them, and it's really going to help you in your journey of web development and so today we'll be focusing on HTML headings and paragraphs so guys firstly what are HTML headings and from the word HTML headings and defined with um, the h1 to h6 tags and the h1 defines the most important heading while the h6 defines the least important and um, if you look at um, what you have on the right here you have the h1 down to h2 down to h3 H4, H5, H6, and you can see that it decreases in size from H1 down to H6. So from H1, it decreases in size, like I said, that makes H1 the most important and H6 the least important. So we need to spot out some similarities between HTML document headings and Microsoft Word document headings, and both of them are used to make a text stand out in size. Especially when you want to have to put a text in, in, in a very big size or a very bold format, it is advisable to use the heading. And um, you all, we also use them for representing the title or subtitle of the content because it makes the title or the subtitle stand out. And it is not used for the body of an HTML document or a Word document. I'm sure you don't want to do that. That's going to look so awkward. And so guys, let's move on to HTML paragraphs. The HTML P element defines a paragraph and a paragraph always starts on a new line and browser automatically adds some white space, which is a margin, before and after a paragraph. And um, the representation here shows us how to use the P tag. You have the P opening tag and the corresponding closing tag. And here you have an attribute named ID and um, you have the attribute value. I don't know, you might have come across this attribute name, but if you haven't, don't worry, we're going to cover this in the latter part of this course, and you often place your content in between the opening and closing tag. So guys, let's take a look at some um, of the similarities between the HTML document paragraphs and Microsoft Word document paragraphs, and um, some white space, which is imagine, is usually had it before and after a paragraph and a new paragraph usually starts on a new line so guys in our next video we'll be looking at html style hatchboard and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you've not see you in the next video